Hi everyone, in today's video, I would like to show how you can create um, multiple segments within uh, Matomo Analytics. Uh, so segments are a way for you to, let's say, uh, filter the report that you have uh, within Matomo Analytics. And uh, what I will show is the module segment editor, so the um, segment API, in order for you to easily uh, filter data out. So it's very convenient because uh, when you are working with the uh, API, API reporting of uh, Matomo Analytics, it's sometimes a challenge actually to filter the data out and you need for that to create some segments and you cannot actually afford uh, to create every time actually a specific segment for that. So uh, what I'm going to show is how you can, let's say, execute the creation of multiple segments and uh, by doing it, actually, it will be like kind of what Google Analytics is already uh, offering as a feature. So in Google Analytics, you have the segment feature as well. And you can actually um, import some segments. And what does it does? Uh, what does it do is when you pick up any of those segments here, it's actually copying uh, the configuration of the segment within uh, within your Google Analytics account, or you can even share segment. And basically what I will show is almost the same thing actually, but it's just through the API. So it's just some uh, requests that you will need uh, to copy and paste. And it will do exactly the same thing actually as uh, what Google Analytics is offering. So it means that you can easily deploy uh, many segments which were not uh, created within um, a given instance of uh, Matomo Analytics. So, uh, let's start. So uh, first of all, what you need to do is uh, to need to understand is in order to create a segment, you need to call uh, the following method, which is called a segment editor add. And then you need to uh, mention actually what is the name of your segment, the definition of it, uh, to which I decide you would like to associate it. And then to say if you would like the segments to, from what I understood, is to uh, execute uh, automatically, or if you want actually uh, to wait a couple of hours for the data to be displayed. So it's uh, either you want actually to uh, your server to work straight away and let's say make some efforts, or do you want to save some time to your uh, server in order for him to uh, process the report and enable all user means if you want actually these segments to be shared within uh, your account. So that's what we're going to do. But uh, first, I would like to introduce actually um, the segment editor getter. So what it's doing it, uh, what it's doing actually this feature is like uh, requesting um, to Matomo to give you actually all uh, the segments which correspond to uh, your uh, website that you would like to track. It's just to give you uh, an overview of uh, how the feed is built and what are uh, the information which are requested for you in order to fill this one uh, properly. So uh, let's first execute, let's say, the segment editor get all uh, segments. So uh, in order to do so, you need actually to execute uh, um, a curl uh, request. So you need, of course, to access to your, uh, to your server. So in my case, I'm going to fire. So this one is segment editor get all. OK, so that's the one I'm going to use. So I want to create a request. So through the API, the method is uh, to get, let's say, all the segments which have been created for the ID site equal number one. And then uh, you just pick it up here, uh, the token identifier. So here, let's just uh, take this curl request and just uh, copying it. And if I execute it, actually, so I'm just going to uh, go maybe over here. Okay, great. So I'm just going to go over here. I'm just going to type my request in. So normally here, it should give me back all the segments which are created. And in my case, I have like uh, two segments which are created, which is segment number 13, which correspond to um, which correspond to this one, customer, and the 14, which correspond to, um, to this one. And this is exactly what's happening. So it's giving me actually all the characteristics of this given segment. Uh, we know that the parameter which is sent is ID segments and it's named, this definition, that it's login. And then it's, um, I guess it's zero or one uh, in order to enable it for, uh, let's say, all the user or not, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, what is very interesting is actually it's giving you 
uh, the information that you wish to have in order to create properly a segment, which is the definition part. So here, uh, the condition, I mean, the definition of the segment is actions equal four and equal eight. And that's exactly what is happening. If you uh, click over here, you will see that um, it seems that actually in order to say equals, it's equal, equal. And this is what we saw within the request 14. And the or is uh, actually uh, defined as a comma. And this is what we can this is what we can see over here. And it's great because it makes totally sense with uh, what we call here the segmentation in the API, where you get actually all those characteristics out, explaining you actually how to create, uh, or at least how to define properly a segment. So we're going to do like a kind of a test where uh, we expect, let's say, our segments. So I'm just going to try to pick up some data. Um, let's say I had some data in, in August, for example, right? So I had some data in August, and I'm going to create a segment. So actually, I don't need this one. So pick up all the visits in August, and I'm probably going to ask, OK, please give me, um, let's see, devices. Um, give me all the device types, so I can just have a look here. Device type. OK, so device type is mm, probably this one, right? Device get type or something. Hmm. I'm just going to maybe try to filter with something. So I'm just going to display it as a simple table and just going to if I can, if I can search within it, but I wish I could have known what is the way of, let's say, picking up the desktop. Uh, let's see within the revolution if I can just pick up the desktop information. Right, so it seems like it's device detection get type equal equal desktop, which will fit. So yeah, let's try to do something like this get type and desktop. OK, uh, so now I may have got actually my uh, my definition. So oops, just going to try to copy and paste it here. And let's say equal, equal, and desktop, right? So I'm going to be like desktop. And that's going to be, let's say, the definition of my uh, segment. So if I do something like this, and if I just copy it here and place it over here, um, so the definition will be, instead of actions, it should be device detection get type equal desktop. So let's go over here and let's say, please, give me the devices where um, it equals desktop. And I'm just going to give him, um, let's say, a very original name, which is going to be desktop, right? So let's say desktop, desktop. So normally, if I execute this one, unless uh, I made the definition wrong, that should work out. So. If I go over here and if I say, hey, give me, create me a segment. So that's uh, what it says here. So method segment edit. Oops. Wow. Okay. That's actually dumb. So I'm just going to uh, clean this one up. Oops. Okay. So yeah, add me one segment. The name of the segment will be desktop. The definition will be uh, this one. And the token is my account. And send it to the following instance. So let's see. OK, so here clearly it's telling me, OK, the device detection get type is not the right one. So I probably just pick up uh, the wrong parameter. I should actually check. Um, what is the real 
parameter which is expected so browser engine or device brand um, okay device model device type so okay so it was just device type and this way i messed it up and i should probably put it in lowercase so it's going to be device type so let's go over here and let's say let's say device 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 type desktop so as i said i'm just gonna do it this way and let's double check if okay so i should have include uh, HT. so let's do it again okay so devices device type is not right so device so device Okay, all good. Okay, so uh, yeah, I just fired it. And now if everything worked properly, I should see appear here uh, my new uh, segment. So I'm just gonna refresh my page because probably did not get the information in. And here I get the desktop. And if actually I uh, let it, let's see if it has been properly defined or if I made any typo or anything. So yeah, lovely. It's, ta it's taking a while actually in order to, to process the data. If for some reason uh, it was working, I hope it will. Uh, what is great is actually exactly like the previous videos that I made, which was about how you can create uh, unlimited users, how you can, let's say, create unlimited websites. That's exactly the same thing. Actually, you can just create a bin bash script in order to execute, let's say, all the different segments that you would like to get. And here, as a miracle, you can see that uh, the segment is properly working. So it's great because now it's uh, registered within uh, Matomo. And it means that if I was sharing actually this uh, given, uh, let's say, uh, request, of course, if I remove uh, my token authenticator and that I was publishing like a full list uh, within, uh, let's say, uh, GitHub or whatever, in order to share it with any other uh, user uh, who has actually a Matomo uh, analytics installed actually they could just fire those given URL in order to automatically create all the segments that they want with all the condition like they want uh, exactly in the same way as Google Analytics is sharing the segment so that's um, that's exactly the same thing as the share segment and the import uh, from gallery uh, let's say features that Google Analytics have you can easily actually if you have access to your server uh, deploy actually and fire all those requests in order to create all those uh, combinations. I really hope that actually uh, you liked this video and you understood uh, the concept behind, uh, let's say, the segmentation API. So it's just about the module segment editor and as well uh, this uh, documentation, which is the uh, reporting API segmentation. And what is uh, very great as well is, of course, as those segments have been created, now you can use them in order to filter out any data of any given report which are included within Matomo Analytics. And I'm not yet um, an export, and I wish actually uh, we could uh, do it more easily, but um, we have as well the custom reports uh, premium plugins, which is available. I never played with the API, but I guess I'm just going to type in here. Uh, custom and let's see if we have the module custom reports. Um, yeah, um, here what yeah what I can imagine and this is what we can check it uh, right here is that the possibility if you play with the 
module custom report. So this is a premium feature that if you do have it, uh, and if you play with the API, I guess that exactly in the same way that in Google Analytics, you can create um, and share, let's say, uh, custom reports, you could do exactly the same thing with custom reports here through the API, exactly like you do with segments. So it's like actually many features that you can see up here uh, within Google Analytics are in fact just available for Matomo. It's just that you need to use the API in order to, to make it, uh, let's say, faster, but that's great in order um, to deploy it uh, easily, actually, to deploy like thousands of segments straight away and custom report as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.